Leading Ladies, an African podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption in our past has been, women never played a part in the trade union sector to influence worker rights. In reality, some women have played a role in trade union activities and changed the landscape of worker rights. Christina Musenge Malila Mulundika was born in 1942 in Matero, a compound in Lusaka. As a seven-year-old child, Christina witnessed her mother discriminated against when she was denied her right to buy a dress of her choice in a European store because the dress was meant for Europeans only. This incident affected Christina deeply and made her a fighter against discrimination and any form of injustice for the rest of her life. In 1949, she entered Kasisi Mission School for her sub-B. After completing her Form 2, Christina trained as a teacher and in 1960, she took up her first teaching position at the St. Monica Mission School for Girls in Chipata. In 1961, she married and moved to Lusaka, where she lived with her husband and worked as a teacher. Christina, still sensitive to racial injustice and inequalities of the colonial administration, joined the freedom struggle. As a teacher, she organized pupil protests against racism and colonialism and was arrested several times and almost lost her job. Zambia gained independence in 1964, but Christina saw that segregation and inequalities continued to exist in the workplace. As a working mother, she was forced to return to work immediately after giving birth in order not to lose her earnings. She saw that women were still discriminated against in the workplace. Christina likened the inequalities between female and male teachers at the place of work to the racial inequalities that had existed during colonial rule. This inspired her to fight for the betterment of conditions of service for female workers. Before Zambia's independence and immediately after, working women who become pregnant were not entitled to maternity leave and faced the threat of losing their job or suspended earnings during the time that they stayed away from work after childbirth. Furthermore, pregnant women could not be considered for permanent employment and most could not be promoted because most employers feared the cost of their absence from work after childbirth. Christina joined the Zambia National Union of Teachers Trade Union, ZNUT, in order to fight the injustices women faced. She was appointed national treasurer, becoming the first woman to work full-time in a trade union in Zambia. She encouraged women teachers to join the teachers' trade union in order to form pressure groups within the union to address issues that specifically affected them. She used her presence in the trade union to embolden women to actively participate in the union. In 1964, through the ZNUT, Christina lobbied the new government to recognize the International Labour Organization Global Standard of 1919, aimed at protecting working women before and after childbirth in what is known as the Maternity Protection Convention. She advocated for medical benefits and health protection of both mother and child by campaigning for a paid maternity leave in the teaching service. By this action, Christina contributed to Zambia's adoption of a minimum 12-week maternity leave through the Employment Act of 1965. Christina persevered and in July 1973, her efforts contributed to the introduction and adoption of the Zambia National Provident Fund Maternity Grant Regulations of 1973, Statutory Instrument No. 192, which allowed women to have stable income while on maternity leave. Additionally, her actions addressed the low levels of retention of female teachers in the teaching service because of a lack of pay paid maternity leave and the absence of women of childbearing age in the teaching service due to the pressures of motherhood. Christina made enemies with some of her former colleagues in the freedom struggle, now serving in the government, who saw her work in the trade union as antagonizing the government. 
Christina walked a fine line in her fight for workers' rights and experienced much tension in her work, but she continued to fight for workers' rights. Christina Malundika retired from active participation in the union after she retired from her employment in 1995. She lives in Osaka under the care of her daughter. In 2014, the Matani Group of Companies honored Christina Mulundika for her contribution to a better Zambia. Women have played a role in trade union activities and changed the landscape of worker rights.